When it comes to trading, the differences between pro traders and beginner traders are actually not as big as you might think. On today's episode of That Crypto Show, I want to introduce you to the, in my opinion, three biggest mistakes and differences between pro and beginner traders and show you ways on how to fix them. If you watch the video until the end, I promise you that the time invested in watching this video will result in you becoming a trader that is more confident and professional in his trading decisions. No matter if you use a scalping trader strategy, if you have not a successful trader system yet, or if you trade stocks, forex, or crypto, or CFDs. Changing your trading strategy. No matter if you're already a seasoned trading pro or you're just beginning your trading career to become financially independent and make money with trading, you will probably agree that having a trading strategy that actually works is essential. The surprising part, finding a trading strategy is actually not as difficult as social media wants you to believe. Whether you're an analyst versus trader, a fundamental trader, a technical analyst or a mix of both, once you spend some time researching your discipline of choice, you will most likely come up with something that can earn you money. For most beginner traders, the problems start once they start actually using their trading strategy and a couple of trades in a row are not successful and end up losing their money. The result usually will be self-doubt, fear, the urge to change the trading system so that those losing trades would have worked out. This very quickly leads to a spiral of constantly changing the trading system, more doubts, frustration and sadly losing a lot of money. What is the solution to this problem? When in doubt, zoom out. Instead of focusing on just the most recent trades, analyze your last 100 or even better 1000 trades to put things into perspective. Let me give you an example. If your system is successful in 60% of all the trades, the chances of having 4 losing trades in a row are only at 2.56%. Does not sound that bad, right? However, this also means that roughly every 39 trades you will encounter a losing streak of 4 trades. Looking at 1000 trades, this losing streak will probably happen to you 25 or 26 times. Once you start putting things into perspective and remember that losing streaks like this are part of a trader's life, you will become over time also less emotional about losing streaks and accept that no system and no strategy out there can be perfect all the time. Bad risk management. When asking around my circle of trader friends who I consider pro traders, what the most important aspect of trading is, 8 out of 10 will answer risk management. Yes, you heard that right. Most professional traders consider risk management to actually be more important than their actual trading strategy. Crazy, right? Well, not really if we take a look at the following. Remember our trading system with a success rate of 60%? Since we only have a 2.56% chance of incurring 4 losing trades in a row, what do you think we should risk per trade? 10%? 15% or maybe even more? Maybe it will surprise you, but most beginner traders actually tend to risk 50% or more of their capital per trade. But risking 50% on every trade would mean that those four losing trades in a row would destroy 93.75% of your account balance. Losing virtually all of your money with just four trades is not only frustrating from a monetary perspective, it also reaps havoc on your psyche. In all my years of professional trading, I've never encountered a trader who's able to mentally recover from losses that high. At least not without taking time off from trading or going again into this vicious feedback loop of self-doubt and changing the system. Professional traders know that no matter how high their success rate is, it is just a matter of time until they will have a losing streak of 4 or more trades. This is why they tend to not risk more than 1% of their account balance per trade, resulting in a loss of only 3.94% after losing 4 trades in a row. Sounds more likely to recover from, right? 
over trading too much. You probably know that feeling already when you've been trading for a while, you have your system set up, your risk management is in place, you are ready to go and conquer the market. Now you just need to wait for the first signal from your trading system. And you wait, you wait, and wait, and wait, and wait, and wait. And as time passes by, you slowly become more and more impatient until you finally give in and enter a trade because you are so sick and tired of waiting. About 25 years ago, my first mentor, whom I owe a lot of my skills to, told me, Dirk, if you as a trader do not spend 90% of your day with waiting for the market to present a perfect opportunity to you, you are doing something wrong. Remember, you are trading to earn money, not because you want the clickety-click action. Granted, many trading apps nowadays are designed in a way that pressing the buy or sell button is very easy and the adrenaline rushing through the veins after executing a trade and closing a trade in profit can be addicting. Treat trading like a business. If you own a business, you also would check and double check purchase prices and compare them to the prices you can resell the goods to your clients. Your trading should be the same. Wait until that perfect moment comes along. By the end of the day, your life will be more relaxed if you manage to hit your monthly return on investment goals with, let's say, only 5 trades instead of 500 trades. Do not change your strategy just because a series of losses occurs. Believe in your trading strategy and in your abilities as a trader. Have a solid risk management in place. Do not risk too much percentage of your capital per trade. Trade less. Wait for the really good opportunities, even if that means that you can just do a handful of trades per month. And most important, leave us a like, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to see each other very soon again.